So first things first, how's that mustache? It is surprisingly warm and surprisingly okay. cold on the rest of my face. Normally I have a beard. And yeah, I, it's it looks exactly how I imagined. <laughs> and I'm pretty pleased with it. It's, it's pretty upsetting. When I, I shaved my face and I walked out of the bathroom and my wife saw me and legitimate thought she was going to die. She was laughing of so hard. Of laughter or panic? Yeah, of laughter. I didn't think she was going to get enough oxygen to her brain. And oh I, I was just waiting for her to pass out. What, uh, how did your kids take it? They didn't care. Did they notice? Uh, Harper did, my four-year-old. She said, Dad, your face is funny. <laughs> Thanks. Now that she can see it underneath the facial hair. The, the most upsetting part is... I don't feel like I feel like I recognize my face with a mustache, but it's not my own face. It's like I feel so you like identify I identify. I feel like I've mustache. I've seen this face so many times in my life. Yeah, lots and lots of mug shots. <laughs> <laughs> that um, must be what you're thinking of. Probably. I do I do per- peruse mug shots pretty often. Oh man. So yeah, we're only uh 7 days in. Yeah, and it feels like it's been my entire life. <laughs> the worst part, oh, man. The worst part is, so I, I need to shave again, but I'm going to be shaving throughout the month to make sure it's just the mustache. Mm-hmm. The end of the month, I'm going to have to wait a while to get my beard back. So I'm either going to have to just shave my whole face, or go mustache. Or just embrace the mustache for a little bit longer. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah, you might just want to do uh, like a clean reset. Oh, that's almost worse, though. There's a reason why I have a beard. It's because my face is stupid. But there's also a reason you don't have a mustache. That's true. <laughs> Normally. That, that is a valid point. Um, so uh, for this month, for the competition, we are doing whoever is the loser has to watch a movie chosen by the other guy. Yes. And I believe you already have a choice, don't you? I I do, but I'm not going to say it cuz it's <laughs> it's just going to have to wait. <laughs> do you have you thought about it yet? I've been considering a few. I haven't narrowed one down yet, but I also don't have a lot of faith that I'm going to win. <laughs> I've I've lost almost all of them so far. And uh, you, so I've lost three and you've lost one. Yes. Out of all the competitions. And uh, it makes me concerned for this next month. How, uh, how are the standings looking? Uh, you are up by four points still. And I also have okay. the disadvantage. Oh, that's right. But I do have, I have something serious to talk to you about. All right. I don't know if you watched it, but this week, the Bachelor season finale happened. Are you really asking if I watch that? <laughs> of course I watch it. Uh, my wife watches the show. She, uh-huh. she, like, she doesn't like it, but she's like obsessed with it. Or like, oh, yeah. Maybe not obsessed. Obsessed isn't really the right word. She's like addicted to it it's like heroin like she doesn't want to do it but she can't can't stop yeah um she was watching it and then i got sucked into it oh no on the season finale because they're like this is the biggest controversy we've ever had this is the most dramatic ending to any bachelor ever do they not say that every season they say it every season they say it every episode every episode yeah each episode is more dramatic than the last. Naturally. But uh, what happened was... So how was it? This guy picked one girl, okay. and, and he proposed to her within a month, broke up with her on camera again. They got the cameras back for like an interview. He broke up with her on camera and then went okay. and hooked up with the second place girl who he denied 
And, really? And then they had like the reunion episode and he proposed to her on the reunion episode. Oh, jeez. It was insane. It, I was How like, did it go with the first winner? She, so she's going to be the next bachelorette. Oh, okay. So she seemed at that point, she was upset, but she seemed pretty content because now she's the star. I don't know. It was so weird. So I've never, I've never watched it. Everything I know about the bachelor comes from like the soup. Yeah. So the winner, is it like automatic? Like they're supposed to get married? Like they propose or or is that sometimes? Uh, Well, it's, it's always heading towards a proposal. Uh, but they don't have to if they don't want to propose or get married to the person. But I think majority of the time someone gets proposed to and generally they one of the other people accept. And what is the length of time from the start to finish? Uh, maybe two months, I would guess. And is anybody surprised that after a month he dumps the winner? Everyone was shocked. Why? Okay, how many? Se- there's been what fifty seasons of this? I think a million. Are any of them still together? Uh, like two. Okay, so those are good odds. <laughs> yeah, it's it's insane. It's insane that it, it's still going on. It's basically the Hunger Games, but with relationships. Oh, I wish it was the Hunger Games. <laughs> I would watch that. We did get someone asked us to do a punishment of me and you in a Hunger Games type scenario. Oh, like fight for the death? Yeah. But it would be okay. it would be tough because as a punishment we both have to lose. You, okay, you know so if there's a tie then one of us has to kill the other. I think I think once we hit a million dollars on Patreon, we'll just do Hunger Games. If we hit a million dollars a month on Patreon, yeah. we will fight to the death. Yep. You heard it here. <laughs> and then after that... Because where else would you hear it? This is the podcast. I'll hold an uh, audition to replace you. Oh, that's presumptuous. <laughs> you don't have good odds so far. Uh, I do in fighting. I like you. to think those. I like to think those odds carry over. In fighting you, I definitely have. I have one more. Um, but we're going to use weapons, right? Or is it going to be bamboo sticks? That's all we can use. <laughs> yeah, just bamboo sticks. That's, and they're just flat on the end. They're not sharp or anything. That's all you get. That's fine. I can make it work. So this week we have a few episodes coming out. Okay. Can you believe that? Are you so excited? I, I can believe that we do because that's what we do. <laughs> Over on Patreon, coming up on uh, the 11th and the 14th, we have Black Mirror Season 4 that me and you recorded. Oh, yes. So part one, we go over the first three episodes. Part two, we go over the last three episodes. And then so yeah, we break it all down. Um, that was a fun episode, but then on our regular, uh, podcast feed, we have Punisher, the 2004 movie and honey, I shrunk the kids coming out. Oh, classics. Um, I like it. What is going on at your house right now? (laughs) That is my washing machine about to explode. I think there's so much background noise i don't know why it's doing that that is really loud you're about to die it's like behind a closed door you're you're legitimately about to die i'm gonna wait for it to settle down while we wait i have to tell you something uh, off recording okay or they're gonna just like have like a whole new blow it out of the water i don't know that's a hot take (laughs) is that for the podcast that's for the podcast. Because it's going to be hard to edit all that in. Well, we could bring it up later if you want then. Um, but yeah. So if you enjoy our podcast, if you would like to help us out, you can go over to patreon.com slash icing that. And we in, know that you don't. In voting for Taylor Allen, uh, not only do you get to help decide who has to pay the punishments, but you help 
or you get all you get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance.